Hello students, how are you? Hope you are fine. Today we are going to learn very interesting thing. So first of all, let me ask you one question. Have you seen any object or anything moving around? Yes, definitely you have seen. Okay, like uh, vehicles on the road. If you are sitting at a home, then your ceiling fan, many things. If you look around, you will find many things are moving around, okay, or in motion or at rest, whatever it is. So, have you wondered that why these objects or these things are moving? Why these things are in motion? Why if something is at rest, why it is at rest? If something is in motion, why it is in motion? So, these are the things that always comes in my mind, okay, and definitely I think that it will come in your mind also. That's why things are moving there may be some reason okay suppose if an object is there and if I push that object then they will find that this object is moving why because I have pushed it if I pull it then also it is moving so that means if I push or pull any object then that object will definitely move that means push or pull this is the force and force is the actual term that we are using okay that we are applying force on it on that object then only that object is moving have you understood so this is the force and because of this force only there are many things happening like changing the shape of any object changing the size of any object changing the direction of any object changing the speed the race to motion motion to race these are the many things that is happening due to force and these are all effects of force so today we are going to discuss effects of force so one by one we will discuss with some activities also you will see some activities and try to do these things at your home and you will definitely like it and enjoy so first take this object now this object is at rest now if I apply force to this object you can see this object moves from one position to another that means object changes its position due to force so changing of position is the effects of force next is suppose this is an object this object as a, is at rest now and now I am applying force in this direction and this object is also move also starts to move in this direction that objects changes its state of rest to state of motion so it can change the state of rest or motion of any object suppose this object is in motion and this I'm applying force here in opposite direction to the motion then this object will comes to rest so this is also effects of force now we are going to see one more effects of force that is change of shape you can see this paper is a plain paper a straight plain paper now if I apply force on it then you can see this paper changes into a smaller ball like structure and wrinkled that means this paper changes its shape due to force applied by me this is one kind of effects of force now again you can see this ball if I press this ball then this ball will change its shape that means if I apply force then it will change its shape this is also effects of force Next we are going to see change in size. This is also one effect of force. You can see this rubber band. Now the rubber band are uh, like this size and now if I stretch it then you can see the size of the rubber band changes from small to large. So this is also one effect of force. You can see these balloons okay balloons are of this size 
Now I will blow this balloon and you will see that balloons are inflated. The balloon changes its shape. Why this balloon changes it? Because I forcefully push air inside this balloon. That means I have applied force to the air. And this balloon changes, in, changes its shape or size we can say. So this is also one effect of force. Now you can see when this ball is in motion, this ball is moving in this direction. Now I apply force and this ball changes its direction. So this change of direction is also one effect of force. So this ball changes its direction. You can see any example, other example. Okay, if you watch a cricket match, then a baller is bowling a ball and then the batsman hitting that ball with a bat and the ball changes the direction and goes somewhere else. So that, that means what? The batsman applied force to the ball with his bat and the ball changes its direction. So this is also an effect of force. Now I can change the speed of any object. Like if I apply force to a moving object, then this object will increase its speed. You can see this ball moves faster than before. Now if we apply force to this to any object, it will decrease its speed. So you can take any example like the vehicle is moving on road. Okay, if I push the accelerator, the speed of the vehicle will increase and if I push, push the brake, then the speed of the vehicle will decrease. So these are the examples you can see in your surroundings. Okay, there are many examples you will see in your surrounding that uh, effects of force. Okay, you look through it. Okay, while you are watching this video, you can see around and you will find many objects are moving around. You have to find out why those objects are moving okay and you will definitely get the answer that there is a force due to that force only the objects are moving or changing its direction or changing its shape and different things happening here okay so you find it out try to see the things try to see the effects of force and do this activity at your home hope if you enjoy this activity and have fun. Thank you all of you and have a good day.